Hello, my name is Kathy, and today I'm going to talk about the magic of cob. Cob is a building material that is made out of clay, sand, and straw. When it is formed into bricks and buildings are made out of these bricks, it's called adobe. When it is used freeform, it's called cob. There is a growing interest in using alternative building materials that are ecologically sound and sustainable. What is better to build with than the dirt beneath your feet? It doesn't cost anything and you don't have to have it transported to your building site. Cob and adobe have been used all over the world for centuries as a strong and enduring building material. They have pubs in England that are a couple of hundred years of age made out of cob. There are Spanish convents in California that are one in two hundred years of age made with adobe and cob. This is an enduring building material that virtually anyone can build with. There are, there are countless YouTube videos of fantastic buildings made with this material. You should check this out for yourself. It really appeals to me. I have never made a cob building, but I have made smaller projects with cob and have a few pointers to share. If in the YouTube videos on making cob, you see people in bare feet squishing the clay, sand, and straw together on a tarp someplace. You could make cob this way, and it will work just fine. But it is a great deal of work, and you pretty much need a significant team of people to help you with your project. There is another way. What you do is take a small portable cement mixer and put your water in, and then your clay and mix it very well then add your sand once this is mixed you tilt the cement mixer horizontally and stuff the straw into the solution as required making certain that the mixture remains in the cement mixture it will kind of plop on it on top of itself that's the secret of it it's the horizontal uh, tipping of the cement mixer it's kind of like kneading bread the downside of this method is that you have to have a, the cob mixture wetter and it will take longer to dry because of this, but the labor saving angle is truly a godsend. Once the mixture is made, you dump it into a wheelbarrow and take it to where you are working. It is very possible to make cob buildings in wet climates. They have pubs in England made of cob and England has a very wet climate but you, sh you would need to keep it covered during a rainstorm while it was drying. The foundation of your building could be made by digging one foot down into the ground and laying a stone foundation. Stones from your building site. You would need to be careful to make this foundation level and make it rise at least two to three feet up off the ground. This would form the foundation that you start the car cob part of your building. You can only build up about three to four feet of cob at any given time as it must dry before you go higher or else it doesn't hold its shape. The neat thing about cob buildings for me is the creative potential that is before you. You can sculpt in the walls and do amazing things with this wonderful medium. You can use recycled windows and doors and build a house for yourself for very little money that would be strong safe and durable. Building codes are the primary issue with most people's attempts to build with cob. These need to be changed to take advantage of this economically feasible building material. A cob project that I have personally worked on is the building of rocket mass heating systems. I have helped with the construction of two very different designs on this. A rocket mass heating system is the most energy efficient wood burning device anywhere. The system has a small fire chamber with an insulated pipe that rises directly above the fire so that all of the heat goes up this chimney pipe. The chimney pipe is then covered with a 55 gallon steel drum that has an exhaust pipe for the smoke that leads to a cob sofa before it exits the house through a wall of the ceiling or of the room. How this system works is that the heat generated from the fire travels up the insulated chimney pipe and hits the underside of the 55 gallon steel drum and this heats up very quickly 
and begins radiating heat powerfully into the room. The exhaust is then funneled under a sofa that is built out of cob, that's the mass, and that heats up as well. The cob sofa retains this heat and continues to radiate it into the room from anywhere from 12 to 16 hours from a very small initial fire. The design causes a double burn and by the time it reaches the out of doors via the stovepipe that leads outside, it exhausts nothing but steam. It is super clean burning and is economical to operate and it feels wonderful to sit on the warm cob sofa when it's cold. A very nice experience. The cost of building this type of a system is not very great. The biggest expenses are the steel drum and the metal piping. I like rock ma ma rocket mass heating systems a lot. They're wonderful to live with. I'm not going to go into the specifics of ratio and so forth in this talk. I just wanted to introduce this wonderful building material to people so that they can research this for themselves and experiment and hopefully change some building codes worldwide so that we can legally build dwellings with this material. People are also experimenting with using straw hay bales as building blocks covered with cob. The leading thoughts here are to construct the north side of your cob house with the straw bale and cob wall and the rest of the house with cob by itself. Hay bales are a wonderful insulating material that's cheap and quick to build with. You build a wood frame as the structure and support for the hay bales. One of the possible issues with this is that if the straw bales get wet then a potential mold issue develops. But I have seen great successes with this building material and am equally excited about all of this. The finished plaster for cob dwellings, rocket stoves and hay bale cob is made out of sand, clay, flour and cow or horse manure. <laughs> I know it sounds gross but it really isn't. Once it is dry there's no smell. From the finished plaster point you can either paint the dwelling or use linseed oil to seal it. For a rocket stove you must use linseed oil to seal the cob. Some tips on that. Don't do the linseed oil unless you can open the windows and keep them open for a couple of days worth of drying time. The fumes can be quite intense until your piece dries. Well that's it for now. I hope you find this as exciting as I do. Until next time, take care.